This is Subway Midnight, a game I've been following for a few months now. It was released like last week actually, and it's a quite interesting game. I haven't finished it yet because um, this weekend has been a lot busier than I anticipated, but I'd like to talk about some of it. Subway Midnight is a game by Bubby Darkstar and published by Agro Crab Studios. Interesting horror game, and what intrigued me about it was probably the art style. This game just looks so goofy, and honestly, I love goofy horror. You play as Lizbeth. As you go through this train, Subway, stay running away from this monster and helping out spirits. It's a pretty neat game with a pretty interesting concept, and honestly, go check it out. It's a great time so far i haven't beaten it now this game has no dialogue that's a special part about it that usually you don't see in a lot of horror games especially with extensive lore and whatnot but it goes for a more storytelling perspective and i think that works very well in its favor <clears throat> now so far it's been pretty a fun time and honestly i plan on beating it and maybe talking about it more in the future but it is not perfect there are a few flaws that i've seen come up in reviews and my own experiences that have proven to me how um wacky this is see one of the issues is the camera obviously this very cinematic experience of course you're gonna want to have a very fixed camera and not a free roam for a game that has lots of puzzles going back and forth between the train and not being able to see what you're doing is a little bit of an issue now next off the controls are a little bit floaty and you can walk pretty slow another thing i don't think this is much of a negative it's more of just be prepared for what you expect that this is not exactly going to be your most gamey game now of course there's going to be some puzzles that you know will work on that but this is more of an experience type game interactive cinema if you will it's got more gameplay elements than most interactive cinema games so i don't even know if i can like put it into that category but if you go into this game with the mindset of wonder what's going to happen next it is a great time the scares are very scary i was button mashing that damn door it's sort of trolly you know a lot of fun goofy characters i love the cutscenes. they're just so wacky and feel so lifelike and animated genuinely i'd say you've probably you should probably check out this game um do it it's like 10 bucks and i'd say so far it's worth the time there's multiple endings and yeah Check it out.